Hi, my name is Irene with Girl Talks Fish, and I am in the rare, rare position where I actually have room to get more fish. Now, my favorite color happens to be blue, so I figured let's think of some of the coolest blue fish that would fit in a nano aquarium, 20 gallons or less. Lucky for me, though, blue is a very, very common color for one of my favorite fish, betta fish. If you look at my past bettas, uh, Darth Vader, Soundwave, Sonic, they're mostly all blue, if not at least 50% blue. I think I love them for many of the same reasons that beginners like them is because they're just cool looking. It's like a three inch, pretty big for a nano fish. Got that beautiful finish, comes in lots of colors besides blue. Very, pretty easy to take care of. And then they have these very unique personalities too. Some of them are sassy, some of them are real chill, and then some of them hate cameras. So <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. Anyways, if you have never tried a betta fish, highly recommend. I've got a whole series over here on how to take care of them. I just realized I'm doing a video about bluefish and I'm not wearing blue, so quick wardrobe change. <laughs> All right, so my second really, really blue fish that I kept was in my second community tank. And so I had this dream to keep a red, orange centerpiece fish um, surrounded by a cloud of blue green schooling fish. So I got Peyton Manning, the flame dwarf Grammy, who ended up being a little too aggressive, but I did keep the green neon tetras I got. They basically look like like neon tetras, but a little bit smaller, about an inch, and very, very little red. I'm not sure why green is in their name, because at least to my eyes, they look a very, very brilliant blue. Like even when the aquarium lights are off, you can see them shining from across the room. They're amazing. My only complaint would be like, I got 15 of them, so it should be a pretty good sized school, but I found them to be fairly shy. And their tank mates were albino Corydoras and a honey grommy, both very, very peaceful, but every time I got up to the tank at least, they always scattered. My thought is maybe if I had a more densely planted aquarium, they would have done better. So it's definitely a fish that I would try again. My latest blue fish that I got would be Unicron, the powder blue dwarf grommy. And like the green neon tetras, He's very, very shiny blue. I can see him across the room. Again, when the lights are off, he gets to about, I don't know, three inches maybe. I've just always really liked Grammys. I like those two little feeler fins they have on the bottom, those uh, modified ventral fins. I like their kind of blimp-like shape, but then their flat pancake, you know, if you look them the other way, I don't know. Grammys are just cool. However, yes, he is pretty feisty, just like Peyton Manning, the flame dwarf Grammy, but I feel like it's not too bad because I paired him with the right tank mates. In this case, I put him with the red orange platies, dwarf platies, and they just seem completely clueless and unaware. So they don't really care that he tries to boss them around. They're just like, whatever, dude. And then they go right back in and try to steal his food. <laughs> so it's been very, very interesting during meal times, feeding him and watching him try to defend the food pile from all the hordes of live bears that are around him just waiting for him to slip up. Now we're getting into the territory of blue bucket list fish that I haven't kept before, but I really want to. So I have kept German blue ramps before, but I really like the electric blue variety. It's got that, again, blue shiny body with a yellow face, a really bright, red eye and that bold black stripe in the middle of it. So very, very striking. And then kind of like the betta fish and then the powder blue dwarf gourami that I mentioned earlier, about the same size, maybe a little bigger, smaller, um, and then also has that really feisty personality and a small package. So I don't know, I think I have a lot of little Napoleons on this list for some reason. Um, if I've learned one thing though, make sure to keep them in super hot, hot, hot water. Like we're talking 82 to maybe 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe talk to the breeder that you get it from. And then, yeah, I'm just trying to think what would be a good complimentary colored tank mate to keep it with that could also stand that hot water, hot water. So maybe Ember Tetras? I don't know, comment down below to give me some ideas here. My other blue bucket list fish would be neon blue gobies or stiffodon gobies that are have blue color in them. I've seen, I don't have a lot of live footage of them, just some pictures I took at fish stores, but they look really cool. Kind of like a 
coolie loach with a skinny miniature eel like body. And from what I've read, they require high water flow current and they like to graze off of surfaces to eat algae, biofilm, off wax grazer, that kind of thing. So if you've had experience keeping with them, please let me know down in the comments because I have many questions. I want to know, are their care requirements really that difficult or are they more hardy? than the internet says and do they really look that blue most of the time you know i would hate to get a kind of most most of the time gray fish with a little bit of blue on it and then it only shows that amazing coloration when they're like in breeding condition and the males are sparring with one another so let me know i gotta know in the meanwhile, if you're looking for really cool, colorful fish like I am right now, don't forget to check out my other top five fish of all the other colors of the rainbow. To be honest, I'm not going to be doing indigo. Sorry, guys, but purple may be the last video in this series, unless I get a lot of requests for doing like a top five metallics list or neutral colors or whatnot. Take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.